Hey, what's up? It's Blake here, and in this video, we're talking about ways to make money selling Dollar Tree products online. It's called Retail Arbitrage. Let's get going! So, I walk into the Dollar Tree, and I see these DVDs here, and none of these are great titles. Uh, Dead Ant goes for about five bucks on eBay. Yes, that's profitable, very, very small profit. Uh, the Monkey King with Jackie Chan. Uh, again, not DVDs that I'm going to buy. I did go to a few other Dollar Tree stores, and you're going to see those videos down the line. I saw some great DVDs, uh, but none of them here. These Hot Wheel launchers and the Hot Wheel, I guess you might call it like the starting lane over to the left. You bundle them up, there's a bit of money there. The Matchbox cars, uh, you know, not so much. What I'm trying to find is like the big, you know, $5, $10 profit items, and those really aren't here. Any of these action figures, the mini figs, any of that fun stuff, um, the brands I'm looking for, you know, there's no Mario stuff, there's no Disney stuff, but don't worry, we did find some really good seasonal retail arbitrage flips. So I'm editing the video and a few things have come to my attention. First thing, I really need you to like and subscribe if you aren't subscribed and comment below with what kind of Dollar Tree videos you'd like to see. The second thing is, in, in the same vein as this, two more videos coming out that are based on Dollar Tree stuff. One is Dollar Tree Halloween decorations versus Target Halloween decorations. Very cool video. We're going to see how far 10 bucks gets you at Dollar Tree versus Target. I think you know who's going to win. And the next video is I went around to about 10 Dollar Trees and hunted for valuable Hot Wheels cars. We found one worth 20 bucks in the last video. And I'm looking for more of those babies. So let me know what you think. Give it a big thumbs up. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Holiday stuff is getting in Dollar Trees. And these uh, Mexican Skull Day of the Dead tumblers, uh, they sell for between 9 and 13 bucks. They're a dollar here. I bought a few of those. I'd recommend buying those and holding on to whatever price you think makes sense. Because as Halloween rolls around, they're going to be sold out. And they're going to be in demand. Tons of good holiday stuff. We have a video on that coming out soon, too. So these Disney learning cards, they come in multiplication, subtraction, all of the mathematical disciplines that you grew up learning in elementary school. You can bundle these together in packs of three or four, sell them for between 15 and 20 bucks. Make some really decent money there. Uh, I didn't have a four pack here. Only had three, but it won't be that big of a deal. If you want to think about uh, retail arbitrage as what kind of stuff am I selling, one of the big categories that I, I divide to in my mind is consumables, and that's usually food or candy, but it's anything that gets used and then, you know, thrown away or pooped out or whatever. Uh, these stickers don't get pooped out, I hope not at least, but they do get used! So what I did is I bought the rainbow stickers. I know that there's always, you know, stickers are always going to be in demand for posters, school stuff, any kind of presentation. And the rainbow stickers, rainbow stuff is popular. They're vibrant colors, a great keyword to target. So I got a few of these, and I believe they're going to go for between like 7 and $10. Um, I thought about doing a two-pack. I'm not totally sure. We're going to see how the listing goes. But I really feel strong about those. Uh, also, what I felt strong about, Again, consumable because once you use these, they're they're burnt up. These quick survive fire starters light any fire fast. One dollar. They're just fire kits. Um, there's a lot of preppers who make their Dollar Tree prepper go bag bug bag buzzle kits, whatever you call them. And maybe they need some wood glue. Maybe they need some fire starter. Maybe they need some mosquito repellent coils like that. You bundle them together. You're only paying a dollar. You get four or five of these. Charge twenty bucks. And in that bundle, you get some profits. Now, what I'm also bundling are these fake security cameras. I, first of all, I love this, that Dollar Tree sells fake security cameras. I bought all of these, basically. I'm going to sell them in four packs for 20 bucks. I There is no doubt in my mind that I can sell four of these for 20 bucks. I couldn't find um, comps for this exact item, but I've sold so many fake security cams and real security cams too, for that matter that, you know, that for whatever reason, everyone's either worried about being robbed or maybe they're just like trying to spy on people. Maybe we got some perverts out there. You know, I, honestly, I don't judge, uh, what, what I mean, I do judge, but I don't judge you for buying it. So I bought all of these, getting them bundled up in four packs. 
Uh, I'll show you how I'll ship them out after the video because it is kind of a little bit different. But these, if you see these, um, you know, obviously I bought them, so I'm selling them. But just like keep in mind that this kind of stuff generally always sells pretty well. So we've got four of these fake security cameras right here. Uh, and here's how we're going to package these because a lot of people overthink packaging. They say, oh, it has to be perfect. These are already packaged. Th this, the cardboard box, this is going to be safe for pretty much any kind of drop they have. And so what I'm going to do to save on money to make it easier to package these is I just have this uh, poly mailer. They easily fit all in there. You put them in here. And we're going to kind of make them like a uh, its own little box in the inside of this. And then we're going to tape it up and that's going to be it. You can store it like this, you know, in your uh, in your garage or in your where you store your inventory. You can just keep it like that. And uh, when it gets wrapped up, like so, it really is just good to go. Voila, and this is it. You know, very tight, not going to fall apart, and it's going to it's going to be able to handle pretty much any drop it has. If anything breaks this, uh, having a cardboard box would not have saved it. So that's how I would do this. Packaging really is not that complicated. But uh, back to the video. But wait, wait. While you're here, give it a thumbs up, big old thumbs up, because you know this is th these are the tips you're here for. Again, we got some more seasonal holiday decor. I would buy these to pair them with the tumblers you saw. Now these towels, they're more for decoration, just like in case you're buying this for your own personal use. They, um, they don't do much. It's just like digitally printed basic uh, towel, but it does look good for decoration. So paired with the tumblers, same design, uh, it would separate you from the market. The health and beauty aisle at Dollar Tree is just a cornucopia of potential. And anything you could ever want seems to be here. This is Pears Transparent Soap. You know, you, the toxins are opaque. You, you don't want to have that in your soap. All these other soaps are just garbage. This, it reminds me, I knew a kid who wouldn't drink milk because you couldn't see through it. Same thing right here. You can see through this soap. It's safe to use. And more importantly than all that garbage, uh, it sells. It sells in great amounts. Right here, five for $17.97. It'll ship for four or five bucks. You're in at $9, basically. You're paying 15% fees. We're going to round up. Uh, you're still making decent money. And if you check the sold listings on not just this soap, but all the soaps, we're seeing hundreds of these sell. You know, this is definitely its own side hustle in itself, getting soap like this. Now make sure that if you're going off comps, the amount of soap in the box is the same. These are like 100 gram soap bars. Sometimes there could be some trickery with that, but for the most part, if you can bundle up these soaps in five packs, and that, that's generally gonna be uh, first class shipping, look them up see what the going rate is, and sell them on eBay or Amazon. I'm just doing eBay in this video to make it simple for you guys, but those really are, that's a great potential flip. Little interlude, so I said five would ship first class mail, but as you put them on the scale, that's incorrect. Five of these weigh over uh, a pound. So what I think happened probably is the person who had that listing either shipped it priority mail, so that's like seven or eight bucks, which makes the profit very small, or they just lied and said it was first class weight. So what I would do instead of this, I only bought five because I was looking at the listing and I wasn't thinking straight, I'd buy 12 of these. And if you have 12, uh, that's gonna go for probably about 25, 30 bucks, and you can ship those in a flat rate padded mailer, or really any kind of box because they're so small and so dense that if you use a, a, a tool like PirateShip.com to buy volumetric shipping, you know, tw 12 of these are gonna be a space just like this big. So it's gonna ship for like across the country, nine or 10 bucks. What I'd probably do just to like really hedge my bets is charge like 25 bucks or 22 bucks plus shipping. And then just have it as calculated based on the weight and then use, like I said, Pirate Ship dot com to buy volumetric shipping okay back to the video if you are a fan of the channel you know i've been pumping up jurassic world for months now the movie's coming out next year but the the, the studios are just flooding the shelves 
with merchandise. Now, I'm not saying Minion stuff is bad. I'm not saying Hulk stuff is bad. I'm saying that these Jurassic Park tote bags are selling for 15 bucks online right now. A dollar at the store. They weigh practically nothing. So you're paying three fee to ship this. And the price will only increase. There were two out of like 25 here. This is an item that I want you to make a mental note of because they are going up in value and they're very profitable right now. All right, let's do a quick roundup. So we're not gonna go over every item, but I will focus on the top two. The first one being these tote bags right here. So these tote bags are distributed by Legacy. And Legacy is a distributor. They do licensed products. You can see it right there in the back. Uh, yeah, Legacy. Those are going to be in dollar stores of all varieties, not just Dollar Trees. But the tumblers, where are they over here? These are produced, if you can see that, by Greenbrier. Greenbrier. And Greenbrier is like, uh, Dollar Tree owns them. I'm pretty sure that Dollar Tree headquarters is in like Greenbrier Township or the city, or there's some sort of connection going on there. So these are only at Dollar Trees. I would say that out of the two, these are going to go up in value uh, in the short term and drop off after Halloween. And then these are going to hover around 15, 20 bucks until the movie comes out, uh, whatever the next Jurassic movie world is. So that's what I want you to focus on. I appreciate you watching in the comments. I want to know what you think the best value product was. And also, what do you think those fake security cameras are being used for? Let me know in the comments, and uh, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.